In this video I'm going to cover how to back up and restore the engine sequencer using MIDI system exclusive messages. So to begin with I've got a couple of patterns programmed in, one of them controlling the Cobra Mini Log and one controlling the Roland TR8, so we can hear what those sound like. So I'm going to go first of all into global config mode by clicking the function and the mute button and we can see that we're in global config by the blinking LEDs. And there's two settings that we need to consider. The first is USB MIDI, which controls where MIDI system exclusive is sent, uh, whether it's going to be sent via USB MIDI or standard 5-pin DIN MIDI. Um, you can dump and receive system exclusive while the sequencer is running on engine, um, but if you're going to do that, we recommend using USB MIDI because it's much faster than regular MIDI and it's not going to impact um, any of the messages going over the MIDI bus uh, because of the bandwidth. So right now we've got USB MIDI turned on. And then the second thing we need to uh, use is the pattern step 8 button, which is labeled SysX. And when we click that button, it's going to send all of the contents of the engine's memory uh, to the computer using system exclusive. So I've got a USB cable plugged into engine on the USB port, and that's plugged into the computer. So on the computer, I've got a Mac now that's using uh, SysX librarian. Um, there's similar system exclusive librarians for Windows. The thing that we need to worry about here is that we choose the correct MIDI port. So because we're using Engine's USB MIDI output, I'll select Engine MIDI. And then we need to make sure that we're recording system exclusive uh, correctly. Most librarians have the option to either record one SysX message or record many SysX messages. And Engine is going to send out uh, many different messages uh, for the songs, the patterns, the tracks, the snapshots, etc. Uh, so we need to make sure that we use the record many option on the librarian. So I'm going to click record many and now it's waiting for us to send the system exclusive messages to the computer. I'm also going to start the sequencer so we can hear that the sequencer is running while it sends a system exclusive. So I'm going to start it. Now I'm going to click pattern step button number eight while we're in global config and we'll see the system exclusive messages come in. So we can see we recorded 47 messages uh, via system exclusive. So now we've saved that to a file on the computer. I'm going to rename this. Uh, let's call it dump1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, replay that back into engine to restore the settings. So to do that First of all, I'm going to wipe the memory of engine to clear out all of the information. So we're basically restoring to factory reset. So now if I play the sequencer, we don't have anything programmed into the machine. And you can uh, send system exclusive back into engine at any time and it will restore the memory. So I'm going to now play the system exclusive back into engine and we'll see that it will restore um, the patterns that we had from the, the system exclusive backup. So I'm going to select engine MIDI as the output and I'll click play. And now we'll see on engine that the uh, step LEDs will show us when the memory has been restored. So we saw the pattern come back on the LEDs. If I click play now, we can hear we got our pattern back. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this pattern. I'm just going to program in a, a quick pattern that's going to control the Avalon baseline. And I'm going to leave the sequencer running while we receive the system exclusive dump. So you can see how Engine can dynamically change its entire uh, configuration while the sequencer keeps playing. So first of all I'm going to use function clear and clear out the pattern. So now we don't have the, the pattern that's controlling the mini log. I'm going to set this pattern up to control the Avalon. So I'm going to use function MIDI channel. I'm going to set it to MIDI port 1, channel 2, which is the Avalon baseline. So to make this quick, I'm just going to record an arpeggio into the pattern. So I'll go into ARP mode, and that's programmed in a, an arpeggio using two octaves. I've got a simple 303 type sequence. So 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the system exclusive message that we saved previously back into engine again, and you'll hear the uh, sequencer will wait till the end of the pattern loop and then reload the entire contents of memory uh, and continue playing without interrupting the sequence. I'm going to click play again and we'll play the system exclusive. transition from the pattern that was controlling the Avalon to the pattern that's controlling the mini log which just came in via MIDI system exclusive and it maintains synchronization. And that's how you back up and restore uh, the engine sequencer.